In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the God of men. May the Lord bestow upon us his blessing, mercy, grace, and wisdom now and up into the age of ages. <clears throat> um, today is the first Sunday of the blessed month of Beth. And uh, as we were saying last month, the Coptic calendar is structured into three main um, uh, seasons or themes. Um, of course, there's the seasons of the year, but then there's the seasons of the readings. And so if you remember, the final blessing that the priest gives to the church at the end of the service, the love of God the Father, grace is only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, then communion, the gift, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So those are the three parts. So the first month is actually the first part. And the next eight months or so is the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and so this is the first month of, of this theme. And this month re relates to us the power of God, <clears throat> the power of the Lord. So today we see his power over sickness, then nature, then evil, and then finally death. <clears throat> so um, today we see the Lord's power uh, over not only sickness, but also over his power to forgive. Um, <clears throat> and we read the gospel of the paralytic and about the gospel according to St. Mark chapter 2. And if you remember during the Great Lent, we also read a gospel of a different paralytic. Um, the, the, some things are similar, and there's uh, many differences. Um, for example, in John chapter 5, the paralytic is where? At the pool in Bethesda, right? Here, there's no pool. It's the city of Capernaum, right? Um, <clears throat> in Bethesda, he is alone. Here, he has uh, the four friends <clears throat> who take him over um, and, and descend through the roof as we know. Um, and so um, the main point of, of what we'll speak today of is we all, in a sense, want to take a taste of the blessing that this man received, <clears throat> not of the sickness, of course, but of what comes after. Um, he experienced not only the healing of his flesh, but also um, the removal of the barriers to find Christ or to see Christ and to interact with him. He wanted, just like Zacchaeus, he wanted to see, but he couldn't. So Zacchaeus ascended the tree. Um, like the Father sometimes say, we ascend the tree of the cross in order to find Christ. <clears throat> um, but so he had barriers in between him and Christ, and they were removed. Um, for us, what is the main barrier that separates us with God? Sin. Right, um, <clears throat> and uh, when the Lord saw him and he saw their faith, he said, "What your sins are forgiven." This is what we want to experience in our life. We know our sins are forgiven, but sometimes we don't feel it, or we don't remember it, or we don't believe it. <clears throat> and so, uh, when when we begin to sin, or to feel weak, or to feel far from God. Um, what do we do? We need the four friends. And I, I mentioned in the past, I know before, what the, the, ex, the church gives two main explanations of what these four friends are. Do you remember any of them? When you think of the number four, in the Gospels, right? Is it Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? And one of the commentators, Blessed Theo Black, he said, my, When my mind gets confused, or I become too weak to carry out any good work as if I am paralyzed, then I need the four Gospels or the four evangelists to lift me up, to bring me to the Lord, to hear him say that I am a child of God and my sins are forgiven. <clears throat> so this is kind of, in a nutshell, that summarizes the, the main point of what we're trying to say. When we feel far from God, the Gospels help us and raise us and bring us to the feet of Christ so we can hear that our sins are forgiven. And all the barriers have been removed. How are they removed? Through the church. And that's the second point, is um, the, the second explanation of who these four friends are. St. Ambrose says um, that they, it represents, they represent the church. <clears throat> the bishop, the priest, the deacon, the layman. Um, all work together to bring every sick or paralyzed individual to the feet of Christ to hear the same gospel. <clears throat> and so... Um, Sometimes we just focus on one, um, like the priest, for example. 
but the church is the body of Christ and um, different members all working together for the same goal. Uh, <clears throat> and so when I think of these four characteristics, I could imagine that the bishop represents the teaching of the church, so which includes the scripture, right? So because he has to rightly handle the bite of rightly handle the word of truth, right? <clears throat> um, so when I feel lost, the first thing I need to do, I get my understanding, I get my direction, I get my wisdom, I get my advice, I get my comfort in feeling that my sins are forgiven through the Holy Scriptures, <clears throat> right? And through the teachings of the church as a whole. Um, because sometimes I may misinterpret the Scriptures on my own. And so I need help and guidance to understand the spirit of how to discern and and um, how to understand the Scriptures. And the Scriptures are not just for... Um, comfort, but there's a lot of messages that the Bible give us um, on a daily basis. Like St. Paul writes to St. Timothy, one of the most popular verses pertaining to Scripture in 2 Timothy 3.16. He says, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, <clears throat> and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped. Um, <clears throat> so we need the scriptures to teach us the doctrine, to make sure we have the right faith. We also need them to, to correct us or to direct us um, and others who don't know the right faith. So it's a weapon uh, in, in terms of um, a, a sword um, that helps us to fight against the evil teachings, right? <clears throat> and to correct us when we fall. And finally, to build us up when, when we're not falling, but we need to grow and, and to be strong in Christ. Um, so that's what the Word of God does uh, for me. Um, <clears throat> when, so that's when we think of the bishop, that's what we think the teaching, right? Um, among other things, of course. Um, and then when we think of the priest, we think sacraments, because he's the minister of the sacraments as well, right? He, he takes the confession, he, he grants us uh, uh, the, the, the communion. So the priest also says in the confession, in a sense, your sins are forgiven. Why? Because Christ has forgiven them. And um, <clears throat> So how, how beautiful, how comforting, are, how relieving it is to hear those words that our sins are forgiven. I mean, sometimes we can't accept those words. And, and so the priest or the servant helps to convince us that our sins are truly forgiven so we can move on. Um, <clears throat> and, and the third example of the, the deacons or the servants um, are people who are called alongside us to, to, to serve and direct us. Um, regardless of, of, of their position in, in the church. <clears throat> but we have to make sure that we select this person wisely. So the last two, the servants and, and the layman, are kind of like the servants, the family, and the friends that, that, we, um, that, that we select in part to, to take advice and guidance and comfort from. If we choose wrongly, then we're going to get the wrong message, and it's going to conflict with the other two. But if we choose wisely, it, all four will say the same message to us. Um, <clears throat> because sometimes we'll be in sin and say, oh, God forgave me. <laughs> but we haven't changed. We haven't repented. We, we haven't tried to correct ourselves. <clears throat> so then we don't hear the message of forgiveness at that point. We hear the, me hear the message of, of correction or of rebuke or exhortation. Um, <clears throat> and, and so... Like the scriptures say, um, we listen to God and we cast all our care upon him. Why? Because he cares for us. So when we select people who truly and honestly and spiritually care for us, then they will say the same um, message that the, the scriptures, and if they're God-fearing, then their message will usually line up with, with the message that God has for, for us at that specific point of our life. <clears throat> Um, so some people, though, they think they can get somewhere um, without any help. Um, and sometimes they, to some extent, they do, um, especially the ones who are disciplined and strong and faithful. And they, they, they do their part. But when it comes to sin, there's only so much we can do. We're weak. When it comes to the spiritual life, we can't get, get to heaven on our own. Um, we, we need the church. We need the sacraments. We need the proper teaching. We need the scriptures. 
we, we need servants. Um, <clears throat> so um, the, this group collectively um, of, of various servants in the church help us to, to hear truly the words and to walk the, the, the proper way in order to hear those words. Because the forgiveness of God is granted to all, but not all accept because not all follow the way of forgiveness. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's important to understand that, yes, God gives the grace and gives forgiveness freely, but if we're not, if we're not responding properly, then our sins won't be forgiven. <clears throat> um, uh, and, and that's why, like, if, if the guy told the four um, friends, it's okay, I got this. Just, you know, go listen to him. Um, or he said, well, if God really cares, he's going to come to me. Like, so we don't fight against the four. <laughs> um, we allow them to do, even he didn't say a thing. He didn't even, he probably the plan wasn't his. Um, but he submitted and, and he let them do what, because he probably recognized that they cared and they were doing something for his sake. So he submitted. Kind of like, when, you know, if you're going to go for an operation, you don't fight against the doctor. No, he put me to sleep. I'm, I'm not going to fight against what you're going to do for me because I trust. I trust in, in, in your wisdom and your abilities. Of course, we trust in God's wisdom and abilities first, but God has sent us to, to this if we're person, if we're faithful, that he will use them for, 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 our, um, for our help. Um, so that's what we also do in, in the church. <clears throat> um, so uh, the main point of, of what we are saying is the sin and sometimes our actions or our thoughts uh, separate us from Christ and and we need help in order to raise our minds and to raise uh, pr from from this world and to humble ourselves before the Lord so the man ascended and then descended so we lift our minds above the world and we descend with humility to the feet of Christ to hear those blessed words saying <clears throat> your sins are forgiven uh, may the Lord give us this experience not only once but daily or weekly in our life. Glory be to the Lord from the age of